In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a flowchart in Miro. So, once you're on the Miro website, Miro.com, you'll first have to log in, and then you'll be able to access this board. And this board is where you can build your first flowchart inside Miro. Now, the easiest way to do this is by going over here to Templates, which is the second of these uh, boxes, icons. You want to click on it. And in here, if you go to Diagramming and Mapping, you'll be able to see different flowcharts, okay? So as you can see, it says uh, flowchart over here, and that's one of them. And of course, you can get a bunch if you just search and type in a flowchart up here, press Enter, and as you can see, there's a bunch of these templates you can use, and you can import and use the template according to your needs. So let's say you need a simple template, you can use this one, for example. But if you need a more complex one for different things, you can use this one, this one, this one, or whichever one you would like, of course. Now, for me, I'm going to use this simple flowchart for this quick tutorial, okay? You can also preview this by clicking Preview, and it's going to uh, show you what it looks like here on the right in a second. There we go, as you can see, that's what it looks like. You can drag it around and see, zoom in, zoom out. Um, and then if you go back to Templates, you can simply select to use your template. Now, you want to press Use Template, and it's going to appear on your board. As you can see, you can also name it. I'm going to name it Flowchart1. And then you can customize it as much as you would like. Now, if you click this flowchart, as you can see, that's the current name of the project and the description. You can change that if you want to and not if you don't want to. Now, I'm not going to delete this. There we go. Um, you can then customize this the way you would like. So, for example, if you want to type in something, you can simply double click in the middle and type in, for example, uh, a decision. So this is going to be, is this YouTube video good enough, for example. And then that's how you type in things. And as you can see, when you want to click on a certain shape, you can change anything you want. You can change its color to whatever you'd like. You can change its borders. You can change the font style, the alignment. You can insert links, change font size, the font. You can switch type. It doesn't matter. You can do whatever you'd like. Then if you would like to delete a certain shape, what you want to do is either right click on it and press delete or simply press uh, uh, simply highlight it and press delete on your keyboard. If you've made a mistake, you can also undo your changes. You can also you can click here by pressing undo or press Ctrl and Z on your keyboard and it will undo the latest change. Now you can also redo by clicking over here or clicking Ctrl plus Y or Ctrl plus Shift plus Z. You can also move these around as much as you'd like, as you can see. And if you delete kind of an in-between element, you can connect it by clicking on one of these uh, edge objects. And then, as you can see, a line will appear when I have this blue dot available. You can simply click it and it will make a new path. Okay, it's very simple and that straightforward. Now, once you've done this, you can, of course, then customize and do it however you'd like, delete different things and add them if you would like to, make different connections to other shapes and to other uh, kind of processes over here and customize it the way you would like. Then after you're done, you can even present this or share it if you want to. And yes, that's pretty much it. So you can build your flowchart in Miro very easily, as you were able to see. You can customize it as you want and make it your own according to your needs. So. I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.